Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and tonight I'm going to talk to you about the new moon coming September 9th, 2018, and this one is going to be happening in the beautiful sign of Virgo. Now, this particular new moon, which we can see here, and I've chosen to do the video this way, you guys, so that I can use my little pencil and draw a little bit more so we can continue to illuminate these aspects that we're talking about together. So hopefully that will make this a little bit easier. But first of all, let me talk about this moon. So this new moon is gonna be coming at 17 degrees of Virgo. And as we can see, there are some great aspects happening to this one. Um, first and foremost, one that's a little bit confusing and a little bit deceptive, which we see right out of the gate right here, is that this moon will actually be opposite of Neptune, which can cause a little bit of confusion, right? Um, you've got these new moon goals, you're planting these seeds of intention. And at first, maybe you're a little bit um, confused about it. You're a little bit unclear about exactly how to manage or maybe there's even um, a little bit of fear coming up this time, but that's okay because it's actually a very big, beautiful, confident new moon because another great aspect we've got going on here is that we've got Jupiter and Pluto right here in a just gorgeous, gorgeous sextile. So this is an opportunity when Jupiter and Pluto come together, everybody's playing nice in a sextile because when the planets have sex, that's good for us. This is an opportunity energy. As well, you can see we've got a couple other placements that are happening here that are very fortunate as well because we've also got the new moon in a sextile to Jupiter itself. We've got the new moon in a trine here to Pluto. So that's phenomenal. There are tons of other aspects happening at this moon as well. Venus is in a sextile to Saturn. If you are used to calculating your charts, um, you can see that that Mars and Uranus are just going to be starting to come into a square. It's an applying square. So we've got that happening here. Jupiter is also in a trine to Neptune. We see that gorgeous aspect right there. Mercury is in a nice trine also to uh, Uranus. So lots of good things happening, but I'm going to talk mainly about the ones that are up here on the screen for us and what they mean for us coming at this new moon, okay? So first and foremost, the new moon is a part of the ending of the moon cycle, right? It's the end of a cycle where we're going to start another 28-day cycle. And so what's happening here is that the new moon, it's our clean slate, our fresh breath, right? The, the moon and the sun are together. They're holding hands here. This is a fresh start right? So all possibilities are on the table at a new moon. And so what we're doing is we're planting new seeds of intention. We're planting things that we want to help unfold or we want them to unfold so they help us make a fresh start, right? Now, one of the things that I think is phenomenal about Virgo energy is Virgo is interested in patterns. They're interested in the details of things. They're very meticulous. They are also a natural sixth house energy, right? Which is the house of patterns and um, schedules and routines and things like that. So this particular new moon, I think it is a phenomenal moon to question what are your patterns? What are your routines? What have you been doing? You know what I mean? Um, where are you at in your health and your wellness, right? Where are you at? in um, these questions of, of fitness, of diet, of health, because Virgo is a very health conscious kind of energy, right? So this is a wonderful moon to be asking those questions and those will help you take advantage of the rest of the aspects we're gonna talk about here. Now, another thing to consider when you're looking at a new moon, new moons, like I said, are also a part of a moon cycle. So the effects of the September 9th moon that we've got right here, you're going to feel the effects of this moon, this energy, you're going to work with it for about four weeks, and it's going to take you all the way up until October till we get to another new moon, okay? So this is the prime time of the month to be making a fresh start, starting these new projects, getting in the beginning of the new moon cycle, okay? Now, let's talk about this astrology, okay? So first and foremost, like I said, we see the sun and the moon, and I have a cool little marker I'm going to use this time, you guys, so let me know if this is helpful to you, okay? But what we've got here at a new moon is the sun and the moon right here, 
oh, not Mercury, but the sun and the moon right here are in conjunction. They're holding hands together, okay? So this is, like I said, this is this fresh breath of life. This is a new beginning, that clean slate kind of energy. So it's just absolutely delicious. So plant those seeds of intention here. Now, the next aspect we see coming directly um, across this moon is that we've got this moon in opposition, and this is our opposition line. So this moon here is in opposition to Neptune. Can you guys see that? So whenever we have an opposition, what's happening is that things are trying to go in two different directions, right? You're torn. Um, it usually involves people, and opposition is traditionally a relationship aspect. So this aspect at this particular moon, like I said, first of all, Neptune can make things a little bit confusing, a little bit deceptive, a little bit unclear, maybe even bringing up a little bit of fear in some things that are going on. But ultimately, one of the things that I, I think that it gives you is this idea and this feeling, um, this motivation that you needed to search for something, right? Search for something within your spirit, right? And that can be a place where you're, it's a bit chaotic, right? Maybe you feel like, oh my gosh, this is a completely unrealistic desire. How could I ever achieve that, right? But instead, what this aspect can help you do is give you the ability to very deeply mentally process um, difficult things that have been coming up. We've all been in a season of shift for sure. So if you've had some things that you've had to process and now you have to get out of the pattern of that behavior, you've had some things you've had to process mentally because they're keeping you tied to some behavior. This is a wonderful energy to process things deeply, deeply, right? This is also, I will say this, you guys, I think a really nice coping aspect. If you've got something you're trying to cope with, you're trying to move through grief or something like that, I think that this is an aspect that is absolutely delicious and helping you be able to do that, okay? Now, the next one we see is we've got, like I said, this new moon right here in a sextile to Jupiter. So we've got this guy over here. This kind of looks like a little boomerang. <laughs> Hopefully this is helpful so we can point out the aspect though, but we're looking right here on the chart, okay? So we're looking right there. Now, the new moon in a sextile to Jupiter. Remember, when the planets have sex, that's good for us because in a sextile, you will not only have opportunity, but you will intelligently move towards using it. So this is an aspect with fresh start, boom. Jupiter wants to expand, give opportunities, bring abundance, right? So this could bring some luck your way, some opportunities your way. This is an enthusiastic energy. When we get Jupiter in the mix, there is enthusiasm. So let's say you've got a new start, a new project, a new goal, a new whatever. This sets you up to have success with it in the material world, right? Because here's the deal. Wherever Jupiter goes, we're going to grow. We want to grow from there. We want to expand. So any growth you experience from this moon will likely show up in the not only spiritual world, but very much so in the material world. So for me, when I look at this, this gives me the thought that there will definitely be some material opportunity coming your way as well, which is just beautiful. I think many of you have been waiting for that. I know I've been working with some people and we've been waiting for the um, physical and material um, manifestations to go on ahead and arrive. So this is a gorgeous energy to work with, okay? All right, let's get rid of those so we can see this next one. So now we've also got this new moon here and a trine to Pluto. So let's circle that so we can all see where we're looking right here. There's Pluto up there in Capricorn. Okay, this looks like a big, like, I don't even know what that looks like, like kind of a, a banana-ish type thing. Okay, but the new moon in a trine. Now, a trine is also a pocket of opportunity. So you see there's a lot of success and opportunity and abundance surrounded at this particular new moon. Now, this new moon having this trine to Pluto, this actually brings... Um, a flip, a little bit of an inversion. There's something to uncover. There's a secret. There is, this is a very confident, confident placement, right? So what it gives me the indication of is, first of all, there's drive, there's intensity here, there's movement here. But I also feel like being in opposition to this Neptune energy, this energy right here helps you lose a little bit of the confusion by being willing 
to just be very honest and very upfront. You're uncovering secrets. You're uncovering the ish, right? You're like, no, I cannot be held down by my own BS anymore. I've got to move that out of the way. Or no, I don't feel like that's actually the truth about this situation. Maybe I need to investigate a little bit. So this combination is very, very positive. Not to mention, like I said, this is a very confident placement. Jupiter is also a very confident placement. So there's a lot of confidence, self-confidence that's happening at this particular new moon, which if you're going to go out and be successful, if we're going to look at these patterns, these behaviors, start these new projects, there's got to be an air of confidence that is coming behind us, even if it's just the confidence to get started, right? Things like that, because Pluto inverts. It flips us upside down because it's the only way we can get a new perspective. And it takes a lot of confidence to survive that level of intensity. So this is very useful, again, at this new moon to launching your new success, your new opportunity, okay? Now, we've got Jupiter here in a sextile to Pluto as well, which is actually this aspect down here. Oh, look, it looks like a little whale. Okay, so that is what we've got happening right here is that Jupiter-Pluto sextile. And again, Jupiter-Pluto coming together, confident energy positive change. But the thing I like about Jupiter and Pluto together is that Jupiter wants to grow, Pluto wants to invert. So you don't necessarily have to work extraordinarily hard at this particular new moon to allow the new opportunities to usher in. You are naturally at the foot of so many developments that you've had over this past eclipse season, over this past retrograde season. You have learned things. Things have risen to the surface. You have a new motivation for moving things forward. And quite naturally, this is an aspect that ushers in advancement right? The spiritual personal growth has already been happening. Now we've got the professional, the wealth, the abundance, the material. And really, whenever I see Pluto and Jupiter together, you guys, one of the things that I think of is that it's almost like there's a cosmic conspiracy to help you. Things are working and maybe you don't even see or know that they're working. Maybe you don't know that somebody is totally on your team and they're out there promoting you, right? It could have a great influence on how you're seen in that public eye as well, especially with Pluto being up there in Capricorn. It's going to give an indication of things about your reputation as well. So you could really have some beautiful, beautiful changes coming along to you, which I'm, I'm excited about for all of us, for all of you guys. You've been doing all of this delicious work. You might as well see some of the benefits of it, right? Now, the last aspect I really want to talk about here is having Jupiter and Neptune in this beautiful trine that we've had going on here. Now, this one is, they're actually going to be moving out. They're moving out of their trine, but either way, it's very harmonious, okay? Now, here's the thing I will tell you with Jupiter and Neptune in a trine is um, it's a very psychic energy in my experience. So if you're getting visions, if you're getting, if you're feeling highly creative, you must dance, you must write, you must do something that is maybe just very creative energy, I would move towards it. And maybe it's not about that you need to quit your job and become a dance teacher. Maybe your body, your physical body is just saying, hey, I need to move. Maybe your feet, which are indicated by Pisces energy, are saying, hey, I need to feel some pressure. I need to feel some movement. I need to feel some change, right? We've got Jupiter over here in these legs. Maybe Jupiter Jupiter's just wanting to feel a little move around. So if you're feeling movement, artistic, um, creativity kind of creeping to your surface, I would definitely engage in it. Enjoy it. This is a joyful, enjoying kind of energy, okay? Now, one of the other things I will tell you um, that I just want to make minor note of is that if you do have anything legal going on. This is actually a very good energy to support your case, especially if you happen to be in the legal profession in some way, shape, or form. This is actually great for giving you a lot of intuitive clarity of some things that you maybe wouldn't have seen before. So opportunity, success, advancement, breaking free from old patterns and being willing to form some new patterns to move forward, getting your mental health on board is absolutely some of the delicious opportunity that we have got at this particular new moon. Now, like I said, if you do calculate your chart, you can see that there are a lot of other aspects going on as well. These are the ones that I felt like were the most important to go ahead and highlight and talk about at this particular time so that we can sit here and we can learn together and get prepared to take advantage of this particular new moon, okay? 
All right, you guys, there's still a few spots left in the Astrology 101, 102 class that will be kicking off September 1st. So if you're wanting to jump in, this is the time to do that. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, leave questions down below for sure. I love to talk to you guys about this. And you guys are probably going to see there's a little bit of a video explosion coming from my side. And I just have had so many visions coming to me at night and there are several things that I'm feeling pretty passionate about talking about at night or at night I'm <laughs> talking about right now so when you see a whole bunch of videos uh, come your way just know they're they're coming from my heart and they're coming from someplace I feel like it's definitely time for me to explore um, as an astrologer so I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video bye guys <laughs>